Okay. Take time. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Right, just, you know, We're going to make the most of the lovely weather today and go for a walk and take a picnic with us. Now, everybody always wants to take a sandwich with them, but they always want a different one. So to make my own life easier, what I'm going to do today is make one gigantic filled picnic loaf with a selection of fillings so that everyone is happy. Now, for the base of that loaf, I'm going to make a bean puree. So a garlic of clove. <gasps> A garlic of clove, a clove of garlic. I'm going to use a can of butter beans, but cannellini beans or chickpeas would both work really well too. I've just drained and rinsed them. And here I've got some peas. These are petit pois. I've just thawed them. They're going to go in too. Next, I've got a lemon. I'm going to grate in a little bit of the zest, squeezing the juice. Next, I'm going to add some tahini paste, and that's made from sesame, and the flavour is going to work really well. But if you prefer not to, just add a little bit of olive oil. A scant spoonful. So that's all of our ingredients in. So let's give it a little whisk together. I want this to be really nice and smooth. Now that's our lovely, really creamy pea puree already. Now for the bread, I'm going to use this, which is a grand pan. It's a really large loaf, as you can see. It's going to be perfect for our picnic. I'm going to go slightly high up because we want more of a lid so we can fill the base. So don't cut it completely in half. Now I'm just going to use my hands to hollow out the bread and then let's just hollow out the lid a little bit too. Now with all of this leftover bread, I'm just going to whiz it into crumbs and pop it into the freezer and I'll use that in a dozen other dishes. Now I'm just going to brush the lid with a bit of homemade pesto and this pesto has just got loads of different herbs from the garden in it. It's got mint, coriander, parsley in there and it's going to add flavour and a bit of moisture to our bread. This is a cheese-free version because Rob's avoiding dairy. Now for the bean puree. I'm just going to spoon that, a nice layer of it, across the whole of the loaf. Because I don't think anybody's going to object to it. I think they're all going to enjoy that. Now if you wanted to skip this step, you could just use a top of hummus. There's some really exciting flavours out there like roasted pepper and beetroot. Now here I've got some of those pointed Romano peppers that I've just grilled. I'm going to layer them across the base. Again, I think everybody's going to like those, so I'm just going to do them all the way along. I'm not going to get enough in, am I? You should see the range of fillings I've got. Now, I'm going to start with Rob's section first. He prefers not to eat dairy or meat, but if you've got an actual allergy, I wouldn't recommend that you do a mixed loaf like this. But for him, it's going to be fine. Now, I've got some of your favourite things here, Rob. Starting with some vegan peppers. Now, these are little peppers that have been stuffed with a tofu and tahini filling. They're going to be lovely. Nice. I quite like to eat them now. Not yet. You have to wait. This is a problem with going on a picnic. At least it's better if we're walking. If you're in the car, we've barely set off before they're all asking for, can they have their sandwich yet? You're the worst at that, Robert. I've got some leftover vegan falafel, another one of your favorites. I think falafel are really nice cold, so I'm just gonna crumble a few in. And then here, I've got this really nice anti-pasty mix. It's got a mixture of olives and mushrooms and sun-dried tomatoes in there. Just a little bit of that. I've got some um, vegan style feta. Do you want a little crumble of that? Yes, I do. Okay, just a little crumble of that. Now for my section of the picnic loaf, I'm gonna be using some leftover roast dinner. I've got some chicken, some stuffing, and some crispy bacon. A Couple of slices of chicken. I love cold stuffing anyway. Who doesn't? A Couple of layers of tomato. I'm really pushing my look a bit now. And then I've got some crispy bacon. Just layer that on top. So that's Robert all done and me all done. Cassia next. Now for Cassia's layer, I've got some avocado. Next, some of that crispy bacon. And then finally, some boiled egg. And it's just almost hard boiled, but not quite. That's Cassia done. So finally, it's Fabio. I'm gonna start with a layer of sauerkraut. It's gonna add crunch and flavour to his section. It's going to be delicious, I think. I think all sections are looking pretty yummy. Next, some Jarlsberg. I've just got sliced cheese here. Tuck it in. And then he's a fan of pastrami, so I'm going to give him a couple of slices of that. Of course, you can put absolutely whatever you want in your own sandwich, but these are flavours that I know they're going to enjoy. And then finally, I've got some dill pickle for him. Let's just lay that on. I've got some salad. I've got a bit of a collection of baby leaves and things that I've grown in the garden myself, like my lovely curly lettuce. Just pop that on top. So we've got loads and loads of different flavours 
and textures, I think everyone should be really happy. Get that lid on top. And I've just got a long piece of baking parchment to wrap it in. And I'm gonna keep the parchment because I can definitely use it again after we've eaten our sandwich. And then just to keep it all together, I'm gonna to also wrap it in a tea towel. And there is our lovely stuffed loaf all ready for our picnic. This is a cool way of doing it. Do you like it? Yeah. So that everybody gets what they want as I slice down the loaf. That is a beauty, Cass. Mm -hmm. Right, Robert, take a look at yours. Peppers, falafel. I think I want to eat that immediately. Come on then. <laughs>